Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to make a new game that is the dodge the ball game. So let's quickly begin. So first we need in a game is the most important thing is that we need the backdrop. But before that, you can see that we don't need the sprite. So let's go ahead and delete this. Yeah, and then go to backdrops. Okay, select some backdrops from the file that you want. So uh, you can select any that any of them that suits your game. So I would like to select this blue sky one let's go ahead and select this blue sky and yeah i have a decent background over here so i need two backgrounds the reason is that uh when our game is over if our game is over so i want my backdrop to change to uh text that is called it shows that displays the message that it's a, the game is over let's go ahead go to text create a text that says game over that's it and then you can increase the font size now let's say by dragging this box and increasing the size appropriately so here you go we have the game over backdrop as well so you can see whenever a game is over we will display this message now the backdrops are done so let's go and create our sprite that we need the most important part so let's go and choose a sprite let's find some really good interesting sprites over here you can see i let's take up some interesting animals or something like that let's say let's say uh yeah okay let's see what yeah i think we can search pico is something that is something interesting so pico walking you can search for that yeah pico walking is good so let's place it over at the ground let's reduce its size by going to the size over here you can see you can reduce the size make it 75 percent to see how much size so we need to reduce it a few more let's say 50 so 50 is done i think 50 is perfect so this is good now next important step is that we can uh, we need to add controls to this sprite right we need to add controls to this sprite so let's go to the code part of this uh, block and then we need to create a event because when flag is clicked that is when we start the game so we uh, the game runs so when flag is clicked what instructions do we need to give so we need to control this uh, sprite for forever right we need to have a control until the game is over so therefore we are using a forever loop now what kind of controls do we need I think only a left and a right movement would be enough for this right yeah okay great so let's go ahead and create two if blocks for the left and the right so I have if here if is here and there you go so now I can use the sensing tool over here which is which gives us the option to sense a key so when key is pressed when key is pressed now you can allot any keys as you like you can use the up and down arrows but i prefer generally a for the left and d for the right and yeah this seems okay but now if a is pressed what should happen so you can see the movement should be in x direction right x direction so x direction so we need to change the x so let's go to the motion and i need to pick up a change x by so for a i think we need a leftwards movement so leftwards movement is the negative direction of x so let's place negative 10. now i want for the d d is for the rightwards movement for that i need to change x by so you can see that our uh, pico moves very smoothly but the thing is that we need to change the costume so that uh, running um, expression over occurs here right so yeah let's go and uh, add this feature to our game and let's go ahead i think two of this uh, uh, costumes are enough let's go ahead and delete the other two and yeah we are done and with this i think we can change the costume e every time we press this so that it appears that we are moving always and you can now see that it seems to be walking right it looks cool great now yeah then we are done with the controls now for the dodge the ball game the most important thing is the balls right balls so let's add some sprites for that 
so let's go ahead and add some sprites whatever sprites you like you can select any ball let's select this ball right this ball would pop up so okay let's keep it here somewhere around here so i would yeah now i what do i need this ball to be so uh, in the meantime you can stop your video and go ahead and complete the code for the pico so yeah you can okay okay i think you're done with this code so now let's go to the ball so i what do i need the ball to do so the ball should come from the sky to the ground that is the main purpose right so so it should start always from somewhere around here right somewhere around here so this is the somewhere point so y is always fixed that is the height is always fixed the x can vary so let's create an event again and when flag is clicked then we are setting the y because y is fixed so let's go to the motions and set y to 181 because this is the number that gives the your y coordinate initially because the ball is here yeah and now for the x we need it to occur randomly from the sky right we need it to occur randomly from the sky so we need to set the x to some random value so we have a function over here over at the operators you have pick random so i can use the pick random i can use the coordinates minus 240 minus 240 to your 240 because you can see that this point over here is something around because if you move this one it is somewhere around 240 so it's the screen starts with minus 240 it goes to 240 the center is 0 0 so that's why i picked up negative 240 to 240 okay okay great and then uh my game is set so let's check yeah it is occurring randomly but it's not falling down so for that i need it to fall forever so i need a forever loop simple forever loop goes there and now uh for the y to change it should decrease right the y should decrease so let's go to motion and pick up the change y value change y by negative number let's take negative nine this time and let's see if this is helping yeah it's falling so now the thing is that once it hits the ground it doesn't um, it's go up right it should go up because we don't want the balls to accumulate here i want to, to repeatedly fall down so for that another this one uh, y is changed so whenever it touches so whenever the ball touches so i need a if block so yeah go to uh, for the controls and pick up the if block so if the y value is less than means it, if it goes below this point below this point so for that i need an operator and that is less than yeah less than would do and uh, set the value let's say after this point after the ball goes to this point it goes again up so this is the y value that uh, i need so let's copy this and paste it over here so not this sorry here so here should be the value of y position so let's go uh, to motion and take up the y position y position of this ball sprite ball sprite so now what happens is that if it goes it doesn't have anything because we have, haven't given any any commands what will happen if this is true so if this is true then we need to again go to this place so let's remove this forever and this place is somewhere that we need to go so now you can see the magic happening and you can see it randomly falling down from different places now the thing is that we don't have any scoring mechanisms over here we don't have any scoring mechanism how so every time we escape every time we escape so we should have something to uh, register our score. let's create a variable that is say your score and yeah done score is done so we'll deal with the score at a later stage let's solve some other problems till now so now with this done and you can see let's repeat the game yeah okay now you can see that uh, what is the issue is that uh, let me show you 
even if our sprite touches the sprite the, sp uh, the ball goes through our sprite right that is our pico so that should not happen so we need to erase that condition so that's for that let's create another event over here let's create an event and we need to check this condition forever so therefore forever loop and then if this ball touches our pico right if this touches our pico so this is the coding for the ball and if touching ching your pico walking yeah true then what should happen then we i think i need to set the value of y again to this position right now you can see that uh, what i have done uh, yeah now i'll play the game so yeah when it touches our sprite it goes up so yeah it's working great so now i need some i need it to make interesting so so what i'll do is that uh, whenever it touches our sprite so i need to reduce the lives life of the our game so let me say we will give this uh, game this, this player three chances to play to make a high score so i need to create a variable first for that that counts the life like vs yeah done let's place it over here and this yeah okay great now uh, with this done you can do one thing yeah now uh let's check let's check again what was happening so yeah once it touches it goes up okay great so now we want to decrease the life every time this happens every time this uh, our ball spread touches our pico so we need to change the lives we need to reduce it right we need to reduce it we need to reduce it by negative one so now but we haven't set the value of three so let's set it over up here so set lives to let's say we want to give three chances to the player so let's set set it over here set lives to three and okay we're giving the player three chances and let's also use a pop sound every time it touches so okay uh yeah and um somewhere around here play pop sound until done no uh, we don't want pop sound to be done start pop start sound pop yeah okay let's check yeah yeah it's working great so now now the sound is there lives are there okay great so it's three and lives are reducing but the thing is that it goes beyond zero so we'll solve that issue but before that before that what we need to do is that we need to take care of the score so we need to set the score to zero initially obviously so variables set score to zero and every time this falls upon every time we escape that is this block this block is the escape block and this is the time that the ball touches our sprite so every time we escape so our score should increase right so change score change score by not lives okay let's change scores by one yeah done let's check if it falls down score is increasing great if it touches us score is decreasing great work good till now going good and that's now we are going to make the game a little bit more challenging let's make uh, three sprites let's take down three sprites so let's duplicate this duplicate duplicate yep done so with all this done it okay it starts at the same time and you can see the problem is that it falls at the same time so let's just uh, take care of this error let's go to ball two and whenever it falls right whenever it falls let's add a delay so wait one second right for the second ball wait let's say Uh, not here sorry uh yeah i messed it up okay okay uh, somewhere around here so wait so this should be two seconds let's also reduce you change the costume yeah let's take this one let's take this one up yes and let's remove the others and for the second one let's change the color let's keep it purple okay let's reduce this to the okay great and this is done yeah so you can see now the problem would be solved 
yeah it falls everything falls randomly from this guy and yeah one thing is that it uh, at the beginning so our ball seemed to be stuck on this uh, sky so let's show it up when after the one second delay so for go to the looks and then use this show option and then show let's see if this works yeah it works great for the ball three also let's use this and then after two seconds it would show up yeah it works no it doesn't work so we need to hide it initially let's hide it initially and let's hide it initially and yeah you can see it is now perfect and great so your score is improving lives are so now whenever our lives is zero then we should stop the game for that let's go and code this in the backdrops itself so initially our backdrop should be what initially our backdrop should be the first one that is without the game over sign right so let's create an event that is uh, wait uh, when flag is clicked green flag is clicked then we are switching the backdrop to blue sky one absolutely and we will wait until let's say where is wait until yeah here it is wait until our variable lives is equal to zero right variable lives we need operator over here and yeah over here operator is there so now um lives would be if lives is equal to wait until lives is equal to zero once lives is equal to zero we need to switch the backdrop to switch the backdrop to blue sky 2 and then i think we can stop all activities so yes this is done and let's say yeah this works great our score is one and lives is zero so game is done so now let's make this a little bit more interesting let's add some music to the game so go to your pico sprite so whenever the game starts we want our music to run so let's go to the controls let's uh, no let's we need to go to create an event and then forever we need to play a music so forever loop is somewhere in the controls forever and music you can go to sounds and select this part choose a sound so you can select any music here yeah yeah this music sounds good and you can select this as a, your game and so what will happen is that every time you play your game the music would pop up so yeah um so we need to play the music so let's add the music so play sound until done yeah correct yeah making it more interesting great so yes we have successfully completed the game and see this is very simple coding is simple so keep do subscribe to my channel and if you like this video please like and share subscribe please so that i get motivated to make more videos and thank you